Hello, so I am back again. I'll be trying another meal from Trader Joe's. This time it is the lamb, <laughs> it is the lamb vindaloo. It says lamb and spicy curry sauce with basmati rice. Pretty similar instructions to the rest of them. You cook it for three minutes. Um, then you uh, stir the lamb, cook it for another minute and a half. My scale is still the same. Um, Ten, the best thing in the world. Nine, I go out of my way to get it. Between seven and seven and a half, I consider buying it again, and I wouldn't ask for my money back. Five, barely edible, and zero, just the worst thing in the world. Now, that last dish that I tried, that was extremely good. I gave that a solid 10, so this one has a lot to live up to, but I have high hopes for it. I do like lamb, so I'm going to pause this video and heat this up, let it cool down for a little bit, and when I come back, we'll see how it is compared to the other ones. One moment. Okay, so here is the dish. It doesn't look bad. Um, I will say there's a little bit of grease on top of it, but I'm not worried about that. And I will be honest, I did uh, stir it up and I did lick the fork. Um, so I did taste the sauce a little bit. It wasn't bad either, but unlike the previous ones, or like some of them, I was not able to smell it as far throughout the house. But, you know, that's not has nothing to do with the taste of it. Let's see how it is. Um, see how it is. And it's a nice amount of goat. Some of the ones with chicken before. Now, maybe I just got either a one that was really filled with meat or the other ones were a little skimping. But this one is actually filled with meat. The other ones were mainly sauce with maybe one or two pieces of meat. But I'm not mad because they're like $4. This one was $4.99. But yeah, they filled this one up with meat, which of course nobody's going to complain about. <clears throat> so I'm just mixing the meat in with the rice now. The meat and the sauce in with the rice right now. Because I just want to see how it tastes all together. And let's get a full bite. See how it is. Well, this is burning hot still. Let me try it. In all fairness, you can't cook rice perfectly um, in a microwave, I don't think. What would I rate this? It's not bad at all. It's good. It's not a 10, but it's not bad. It's definitely above a 7. Um... <laughs> this one does have coconut like the previous ones. Like the previous one that was a 10. I'll say a solid 8 again. Um, the rice is not, it's a little mushy, but then again, it is frozen rice, so you can't make it perfect. That's what's keeping it from being, you know, that 9 and 10 range. But the meat by itself is really good. It does have a nice little kick. I will say the kick is not as strong as the other one, but it's not bad though. It's definitely for people who like a little bit of spice, but not too much. Yeah. Also, the rice was not seasoned like the other ones were. Um, if I remember, the other one had like yellow rice. Now this one did have a little bit of peppercorns and I think a little bit of peppers or something. But it was not well seasoned, which of course could possibly take away from the score of the rice being a little bland. If the rice was maybe more seasoned, I probably would have been able to look over the fact that it was overcooked a little bit.
you know what? The meat so well season, I'll give it an 8.3. 8.3. Because the meat is extremely well seasoned, is nice and tender, has really good flavor. <laughs> and I can overlook the rice, which is not the star of the dish. So yeah, I'm going to give it an 8.3. It's not the 10 that I was hoping for, but this is definitely a meal that I would get again. Especially because it had a good amount of meat in it. So, Good job, Trader Joe's. I'm really enjoying these Indian recipes, so. It's good.